everybody, this is Block for Bun. I'm Kathy, welcome to our channel. So today I'm gonna show you how the containers are made and also how they're installed at the factory, right here. All right, so they've just started to put this 40 feet air cooling container together. This one is 12 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and three meters high. On this side is the front side, that one is the rear side. Those are the doors. On this side will be the dissipation side. The fan will go through here blowing out the hot air. And on that side, it will be the cooling water curtain. They just put the canopy on. The canopy can protect your miners from rain, storm, hails, a lot of problems that you may have. I think I want to live in there. Can it be an RV if I can just live in this one and also travel with it? So traveling and mining at the same time? Hmm. Set up. I put the board on and fix them with the safety buckle, which is very easy. Now they're very, very stable and I can't even clam on it. See? They're very stable. So this is the column, this is the frame, this one is the PDU board, and this one is the network switchboard or router board. Uh, how many units do you think this one can hold? I will tell you later, but now have a tour in the factory. Let's go. Alright, those are the racks. Now we have arrived at the containers. Right here, this one is a 40 feet container. It is not done installation yet, uh, but I'll show you a 20 feet miner right... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh no. Not so nice. Not nice, not nice, mm, okay, okay, I'll leave you alone. So right here we have a lot of um, money containers at my back, they're done. So this one is uh, 20 feet, it's much smaller. Oh, those are the louvers for the 20 feet containers, so this one is much smaller. Oh, uh, that's the door for the 20 feet, so yeah, that's the size. Let's go check it out back there. That's the metal cutting machine. They're now making, this is the partition board. Let's go back and check how the installation has gone right now. Well, they've already done. You can see that there are many holes for the safety buckles. Here, 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 and there. That's because you can adjust the height of the rack according to the size of your miners. putting the louvers on. This is one piece and you just have to put this part up here and it is all done. So it's very easy and convenient very fast. You can open them if the temperature goes up and you want more dissipation. So on this side are all the fans. They will be right here. They will blow hot air outside and the board that we saw just now, they're here to stop the hot air from going back in. If it's during the summer and it's really hot, you can also put some fans here to speed the whole process up. And you can see right here are the canopies um, on this side and also on the other side. They would protect your miners from the rain and storm so they do not get in and damage them. All right, now the air cooling container is all set. I'm gonna send some miners there and put them on the rack. Those are the water curtains. So they cool the air and the miners draw the 
cool air inside the container and blow out the hot air on the other side. So the temperature in the container is about 25 degrees Celsius. Two parts are left uninstalled because we want to better show you the inside parts are the miners. On one layer, there are nine miners. There are eight layers on each rack. Two racks all together is one group. There are four groups in this container. Guess how many liners are there? 432, which is more than 50 units extra than the integral containers. All right, look how beautiful they are. They look so neat. The PDU board and the router board are in one piece and there is no mess. Now right here is the power cabinet. Let's take a look. Uh, here are the two main circuit breakers. They're 800 amperes. The sectional electric current from them is 65 kilo amperes. Down here are the sectional circuit breakers, which are 125 amperes. They control each PDU board right here. So one for this, one for this, and one for this. Let's take a look at the other power cabinet. Let's go. Ta-da! This part is just like the other one, but down here we can see the auto transformer. So this one is a 500 volt ampere auto transformer. This is the transformer. Those are the switches. For this one, it will transform the current from 415 volt to 120 volt. All the electric parts in this container is UL, ETL, or CSA certified, and they all meet the requirements of IEC. So the quality is great. It is the best standard in China. That's all about our container. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave some comments. Thank you for watching. It's dinner time for me. So see you next time.